Hey everybody, what's happening? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back. Let's play some more Grand Theft Auto 3. And again, you're almost dead. And that is not a good way to start things off because I don't like being close to death. But we do have this awesome, like, bulletproof Hummer thing going on here. Or, I'm sorry, it's a Patriot. We can't use regular brand names for cars because that would be against the law. We can't. We, 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 don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't want to break the law, even that's what we've been doing literally the whole time we've been playing this game. But here we are. I'm actually I'm going to be going on a really big marathon of, of uploading stuff today. So this is just the tip of the of the berg of ice. But here we go. We're going to go down here. Apparently, Asuka's new you know operations center is on top of one of these buildings. So we're going to go check that out. I'm guessing it's going to be one of these other you know big time missions where you know everything's going to be hitting the fan big time. So hopefully I don't get myself killed because I have. Limited amounts of, of beating hearts left in my body, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hope for the best here, because I'm not really putting a whole lot of stock into this going over very well. Bait. We going fishing? No, that guy's getting Gera slapped upside the face. I'm mistreating him. Still, he's revealed the extent to which Catalina fears your quest for revenge. She has three death squads dotted around Liberty whose sole job is to hunt you down. So you're going to go hunt them down. And get the death squads to follow you to Pipe Creek, where some of my men will be waiting for them. Well, okay. God, that would have really hurt. Like a kendo stick, or what is that thing? It sounds... I mean, it looks like it'd be very, very painful. Okay, so where the hell is my car at? It's back over here. Dude, my legs are so sore. I mean... I, I did squats for the first time since like high school the other day. On it's like that was on like Thursday, and now I feel like I've totally I feel like my age is, it has like accelerated by like 30 or 40 years. I mean this is ridiculous. What the hell's on my hand right now? Oh, like a piece of tape. <laughs> yes, and I just let myself run into the wall. So we need to go find these guys. It'd be nice if I could get out of you know the the ruins over here. Apparently I can't do that, because they're not going to let me. Unless I go up this way, maybe. Maybe that will get me back street level. Maybe not the level that I wanted, but it'll get me back street level. But yeah, so, I've been sitting here walking around like I got, like, a couple slabs of firewood jammed up the old corn shooter here. So it's, it's very, very uncomfortable. And it was even worse because I went to the casino last night with a couple of friends, and so, you know, we're walking around, and I'm sitting here walking around all gingerly like that, and I'm getting, you know I'm getting looked by just about half the people in there, like, what the hell is he walking like that for? So, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm taking it easy today. Forget doing literally anything else. This is, this is going to be my destiny for the day. I'm, I'm watching college basketball, and that's going to be the, uh, pretty much the extent of what my day is that and, you know, doing a huge marathon of videos, so that is my ideal Sunday. It's going to be great. I, I hate going to the casino, though, with the exception of a couple of things. Casino buffets are absolutely nuts. In the best way, though. I mean, it's, it's the type of thing where it's exactly what I want it to be. So where the hell am I, where am I going with this? Are these guys all going to be over on this other side here on the, the old swirly bridge, or what's, what's, what's happening here? It would help if I was going the correct direction. So apparently I forgot the right way to go. Uh, oh, that's why I need to go further. There we go. Uh, but yeah, the, the buffets at those types of places are completely insane. In the sense that they have so much food that it's just outrageous. It's, it's unreal how awesome it is. Unfortunately, I got there so late last night that the buffet was closed. So, we went to this other restaurant at Spirit Mountain. It was called The Summit. And I had, like, this awesome-ass, like, crab shrimp, like, cheddar melt type of thing. Albeit, you know, all those nice restaurants where they make you pay, like, 15 bucks for their dishes. And it was, like, it was the equivalent of, like, an appetizer. So, it's like, hmm, so when's my real, when's my real meal getting here? still hungry and you didn't even give me any bread to feast on. Okay, here we go. We are on the right side of the world now. I don't know what this whole yellow dot is. I'm, I'm assuming that's where uh, that Pike Creek was that she was talking about, where all of her dudes are going to be at, waiting to give them the uh, the Asian fist of justice. 
going to uh, quote unquote skull fuck them with the voice of reason, <laughs> as my brother said the other night. I thought that was one of the most awkward things that has ever been said. Okay, so where are these other guys at? I'm going to assume that they're going to be up this way. Yeah, come and follow me, my friends. Come on. What's this guy doing? Follow me. Then get your car going in the same direction that I am on the road. Oh no, I gotta get the I gotta take that bridge. Because I gotta get all the way back up here again. Is that like a prison? Is that like a prison or a school? I can't really tell to be painfully honest with you. I really just need this guy to follow me. I'm assuming that's how this is supposed to go. I'm not I'm not, you know, positive per se. I just I can't possibly fathom that they're going to, you know, have me lose him on purpose. Okay, so we need to we need to go upwards, we go up the way. But yeah, so after we went to that little uh, that little restaurant place, we decided we were gonna go play some slots. And I, I'm I'm being totally dead serious here when I say that I may I may have the worst luck of any human being in the world when it comes to gambling because I I literally I have like no I have zero luck. I may even have negative luck when it comes to when it comes to playing you know casino games of, of any kind. Whether it be slots, which I mean they are—they make them to go against you on purpose. But you know, all my friends seem to have a great time with that. They're all just abnormally good at at winning at that. And if it's like blackjack, which is probably like statistically your best your best option to win, these guys seriously hiding out in somebody's driveway? Oh no, they weren't. Well, they kind of were. Uh, so then there was that, and then uh, just like any of the other games, like roulette. It's pretty much a, a total crapshoot if you even have any sort of a chance for that. And then there's, uh, like, a Baccarat. I don't even know how to play Baccarat, really. Or uh, Crabs. I don't know how to play Crabs, but I know that if you if, if you get really lucky at that, you can win just a, a total ass palette of cash with that. But I've never played that before. I kind of want to learn how to play it, though. I, I mean, I, I've always wanted to be the guy throwing the dice in there. Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. Come on. What's up with this other guy back here? He's doing lollygagging back then. Oh, you know. Oh, I'll eventually, I'll eventually get up there. Okay, here's these guys. They're coming after me now, too. So we need to go back to that one... Ah! Whoa! Okay, we need to go back to the old, the old yellow dot here. The old yellow book. I just gotta hope I don't mess this up. It's a good... I, I think I may have picked probably the best vehicle that I could have for this mission. Because, you know, the way this would go normally, I'd be in, like, a regular car, and they'd just be, you know, tossing me around like a salad, as they are right now. Um, I need to get on that bridge. That's, that's what I need to do. That bridge that'll take me back across to the other side of the main thing here. What are these guys doing right now? They're so slow. But, yeah, so uh, I decided to jump on a couple of slot machines. Uh, I, don't, I don't even remember what they were called. One of them was this cool little number where uh, I, I won like some free spins like right off the bat. I'm like, all right, all right, yeah. I'm finally going to win something for once. And I ended up winning 10 bucks out of it. And I was like, oh, sweet. It's like, I should probably cash out right now because I only put like five bucks in. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, dude, you never learn. You know you're going to go for it anyways. And I did. And then I ended up, you know, getting back down to 10 bucks. So I was like, okay, you know what? I probably should cash out now. And then, you know, maybe maybe head back in a couple of minutes. And so, we, you know, we got done with, I got done with that one, and my friends got done with the machines they were on, so we decided to move over to a different one. Where the hell am I at right now? I don't even know what's going on anymore. I need to go, I know that the bridge is up here, so I'm, I'm kind of back, I'm back in traction now. So we went over to this, we went over to this slot machine that was called, it was, it was the Game of Life one, which was awesome, by the way. Like, half the time, people would trigger, like, the, the, the big bonus game. It's like one of those ones where four people can participate on it simultaneously with you. What are these guys doing? These guys are total idiots. Come on. Get up here. Get your slow mafia ass up here. There you go. God, he's like the worst henchman ever. Then again, well, no, they're not Asians. I'm going to say, if they were Asians, it would make sense because Asians don't know how to drive. For the most part. There are way too many occasions where I've been like, you know, driving next to like an Asian lady on the freeway and she just like throws her car over in my lane without even looking. It's like, ha, ah, go figure. 
It's like everything, everything that Family Guy had ever laid out in one of their skits. So am I going in here, or what's going on? I am not going in here. Or maybe I am, I don't even know. These guys, these guys, oh crap! Nope, we need to go this way, alright. There's gotta be a way in there. Oh, it's up here. Okay, I understand what's going on. But yeah, the game of life was awesome. The part that sucked about it, though, and I'll, I'll wait and see what happens with this here. Ah, there's all the people, yeah. All the lonely people. These guys need to come inside. Yeah. Kill them! Kill them! Oh no, I killed one of their guys. My bad. Oh no, now they're coming after me. Because I killed one of their people. Come on in. Come on in. Gosh, these guys are idiots. Get in here. You must be joking me right now. Ah! What are these people doing? <laughs> they're so ridiculous. Just get in here so I can kill you. Brutally. Here we go. There we go. Booyah! Come on. Get up off the ground so I can run you back over. Yeah! 35k. That's what I'm talking about. It was a very nonchalant 35k, but it worked. It really did. So, gosh, we have a lot of ammo. This is, this is great. I feel like, you know, when the last mission comes around, we're going to need all of that in pretty heavy excess. Um, but I, I, I triggered one of the big bonus games, and I only won, like, $3 out of it, because it was, like, it was a penny machine, so, you know, albeit it's going to end up being, you know, worth pretty much nothing. But, so that happens, I ended up putting all the rest of my money that I had in my wallet, and there was only, like, 10 bucks or so. And then I end up losing, and so I end up hitting the cash-out button, and then as soon as I cash out, like, right before it does it, it says... You hit the, you hit the, the, it was like the mystery jackpot or something like that. It wasn't like very much, it was only like five bucks. But it's like right as I hit the button, so it didn't let me keep playing, it just like, it cashed me out five dollars. And so I get out and then a lady comes in and sits down right next to where I was at. And literally the second that I got out of there, uh, the, it, like the, the bonus game triggers like five games in the, over the course of like two minutes. Like literally the, the, the very second that I cashed out, a bonus game triggered. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And then, like, another one, and another one, and another one. And I would have probably won, probably, I'm going to say a good 30 or 40 bucks had I actually sat in there. Like, had I actually been still playing. It's like, this this is the luck that I don't have with with casino games. It's like, they, they know, they know that as soon as I get out of there, then all of a sudden they're going to switch the luck up, and then everything's going to be okay for everybody else but me just blows my mind. And then I, I spent my last five bucks on this other machine that was, ca it was called like Thundering Buffalo or something like that. Where it's like, oh, 720 ways to win, all right. And so, and the all right was actually there. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. It actually wasn't there at all. But it's like 720 ways to win. So I'm sitting there like, I've got to win something out of this. There's just no way that you can lose if there's truly 700 ways to win. And so I go in there. And I literally did not win once Miguel at all. Certainly has some of that famous Latin stamina. I'm quite exhausted. He also has 50 million Wind welts all over his Lina's face. For spank. It reaches far beyond the yard he's selling it on the street corners. The cartel have a front company, the Kappa Coffee House. They've been selling spank through the street stalls. Huh. We have no choice but to put these drug stands out of operation. Smash them ah. to splinters. Well, okay. I think that I will do that then, because that is what I like to do. Cruise Liberty's districts to find... what? After you trash the first stall, you'll have eight minutes? Oh no! I think I may need a faster car for this. I think I'm gonna have to get one of those, one of those Yakuza cruiser things here. But yeah, so that's kinda how that went, it's just like... And then as soon as I got off that machine, some other dude goes and sits down at it and he ends up winning like 50 bucks. It's like, why? Why can't I have luck like this? <laughs> just, like, blows my mind. I, I swear that the, the people running those casinos, they just, they know. They know what's going on. They, they know that it's the very minute that I get off those machines and they, they trigger some other type of thing there. Wow, that, that was it, huh? That was just kind of weird. I don't even know where to find these things, to be honest with you. Oh, here's one over here. 
Get out of the way. <laughs> it just like bounces off of it like it was nothing, okay. One up in here. Where are you at? There you are. Hiya! I'm gonna have to get a new car soon. I guess that is the downside of having uh, you know, driving sports cars for this type of mission. Okay, where's there another one? I need another one here soon. This thing's about to get all trashed up in no time. Ooh. Anybody? Is there one over here anywhere? They said there was eight stalls, didn't they? I hope that's the case. Oh, no! Nope, we're okay. Never mind. Everything's all hunky dory, everybody. Ooh. I got to, oh, I actually got to be awake this time when they did the whole, like, daylight savings time switch over. That was kind of weird. I actually got to watch my clock go from 1, 159 to 3 a.m. That was kind of creepy. It was like, uh, it was like living inside of a time warp. Let's do the time warp again! Come on, get in the car, Claude. Stop it! Stop it, you zealots! Come on. So what are the what are the other stalls at? It doesn't help that they're not like giving they're not laying them all out for me to see. They only pop up one at a time. Like how am I supposed to know where they're all at? I just have to like cruise around town like a like a <sighs> You just wait, cartel people. You just wait until I find your little your little coffee drug stalls, and then we'll see how easily the axe slices through the meat. I feel like I've heard this song a million times. I just need to get something else. All right, here we go. We're we're gonna be in good shape now. We got a whole new set of problems now. Oh man. Oh yeah. Gonna get you. <laughs> I love how you you hit it. Oh, get out of here. Ooh, there's a package right there. Well, I'll take that. I might as well. Back in we go. I like how you had to open the door back up, even though he had already open the door. Where's there another one? I feel like they're all going to be on this side of town. And I was correct in thinking that. Ooh, there's two of them right here. I love how they like that people always get ready to dive, but it's always diving into my car. Okay, gotta, gotta find a way to do this. Hopefully I'm driving fast enough, which I wasn't. It's just great. Go figure that that would happen. Here we go. I got it now. Uh, he's he's going down. Oh no! Go go out of the car. Away we go. Flame on. <laughs> I love that scream. I'm an old lady for crank sake. And I'm driving with two shopping bags. So was she like driving with her knees or something? I feel like that'd be really hard for a, an old lady to do because they have like no meat on their bones at all. Really? Really? Selling drugs in front of a church, huh? Oh no, we gotta go to... We have to go to Portland and Shoreside Vale? Oh no. That's not gonna work out very well at all. I'm also not making this any easier by going all the way over here and then making my longest drive of the day. That's why we had to have a fast car. Now I, it all makes sense to me now. It really does. Okay, give me one of these. I really need one of these right now. Fast cars are going to be a very important part of this. Even though I'm probably not going to get it done. But at least, you know, a, a guy can dream, can he? Come on, baby. We gotta do this. I just don't even, I don't even know where to go, though. That's, that's the problem. Is it like, unless you know exactly where to go for this, you're pretty much screwed. And they, they don't lay it out for you whatsoever. You just, they throw you out there and just expect you to just to find it. This is definitely one of those do it a couple of times missions before you really know what's going on. No, oh, hit the back alley. Come on. Up we go. Up we go. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I'm on a mission here. I'm trying to save the world from the from the, the crutch known as gingivitis and, and very, very terrible drugs. Come on is this thing? Oh, of course, it's gonna be in here of all places. Oh, it's right there. Oh, really? How hard do I have to hit this thing? Really? What's, what's going on right now? How hard do I have to hit this freaking joint? You've gotta be kidding me right now. 
Do I really have to be hitting it as, as fast as, as I can humanly go? Maybe we'll just blow it up. Maybe that'll happen. There we go. There's still another one over here, huh? Where, I don't know, but it's apparently over here somewhere. Yeah! Where could you be? At least I'm, I'm getting I'm getting the hang of where these are all at, which is a, a good thing. I just I don't know where the other one is at by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm going to find it. Ooh. Damn it! Come on, get your head out of your ass. We gotta we gotta move here. Where could this other stall be, huh? So obviously there's there's five of them. I'm gonna say there's five of them in uh in the the place over there. There's two of them here. I'm guessing one on Shoreside Vale. I, I don't even know. I'm just assuming that's how it is. God, where is this other one at? It's not helping that I'm doing things like that. Yeah, that's 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 really helping, Claude. You're you're really doing a great job today, sir. You're really, really getting your money's worth out of this. Oh yeah, that's that's the car I want. That's that's really gonna bring it home. I'm like driving a truck. I mean, we're not gonna get it anyway, so I guess I might as well just cruise the gut and try to figure out where it is. It's about the only the only hope that I really have right now for finding this other stall. Hey, what's this? Yeah, I can. Oh, where are you at? Not helping that I'm driving the wrong way. Well, apparently we're just not going to find it at all. It's, it's just it's gone somewhere in the in the vast the vast obscurity. Oh, really? Really? We can't even climb a hill in this thing. That's 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 great. Just just wonderful. I mean, I could just get out and get a different car, but we we're already past that. Where are these other stalls at? I'm, I'm just like at a loss for words, I'm trying to figure out where this thing is. I mean, I'm not even going to be able to give this this mission another try, particularly because I'm pretty much out of time for this episode. But when we come back next time, we're going to figure it out. I just, where is this thing? I just, I can't figure out like where it's supposed to be. Hmm. Well, that was a giant, giant failure. We'll figure it out, though. I'm, I'm usually good at, at getting these missions done by about the third time that I try it, but... It's better, it's better than nothing. It's better than not getting it done at all. So, you know. Alright, well, let's, let's head over to the save house here. And then from there, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get things done. I wonder if there's a... Oh, no, we are, I think I already got the, the hidden package that was in there. I think I remember that because I drove in there and I had a bunch of people follow me in, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so we'll just we'll head back over through here, and now that the cops are on me, but they won't be because I'm gonna go deal with this. But yeah, at least we got we I mean we got that other mission done on the first try, so that was cool. That was that was at least you know a good sign that maybe it's not going to be a giant waste. Here we go. All right, let's go save it up, and then we'll be good to go. All right, everybody. Well, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for stopping by and watching, and I need to go mow the lawn. That was what my uh, my dad just came in and asked if I could do that for him, because so he's going to be going out to do something, so I need to go mow the lawn before it gets any colder outside, and then I'll be back to do some more stuff. So you guys take it easy, and I'll see you later. Bye.